Hello there everyone, so today I'm going to be going through what the required elements are and the amount of event tokens you're going to need to complete each level in the Great Egg Hunt event. So on each level obviously you need to spend a ton of event tokens to progress and there are also the battles on the map as well and normally doing these map fights is cheaper than just going through all of the tiles themselves. So if you do have the elements available, obviously the chances of you finishing are more likely. And so the DML wiki, as per usual, does have some very useful information on the event. So I will link this in the description and in the comment section of the video, but they have an entire page dedicated to information on the Great Egg Hunt event. So first of all, it goes on about the progress rewards that we can see anyway. And then we have this requirement section here. So they've actually calculated how many of the event tokens it will require for every single level of the event. So for level one, the maximum is 800 eggs that it requires and the minimum is 440. And the reason that this is so important is because, for example, on level six of the event, the max amount of eggs it's going to take you to finish the event would be 71,000 event tokens and the minimum would be 37,000. So basically that means that you've got like just under 40,000 that it could take extra if you're not going through the levels correctly or not going with the best possible routes, let's put it that way. And so for level four here, the maximum it might take would be 22,700 for us to complete, or the minimum could be 13,000. If you have to skip every fight, it's going to be 1,200 just to skip this fight here, which is crazy to think about. But that's why it's so important to know which route you can take and whether your dragons can actually finish the fights or not. And so if we scroll down, they also have what the fights are for every single level of the event and what the allowed elements are, which is extremely useful so then you can plan your routes out effectively. So level one, there's like four required elements and they're all basic elements. For level two, the required elements were earth, wind and water. It even shows you all of the dragons that you have to fight as well. Level three, the elements allowed are plant and water and one you can use earth as well and obviously we finished level three super super quickly so I don't even have to worry about this quite yet but on level four the elements allowed are apparently gonna be plant and water some energy and some metal so there's kind of a little bit more of a diverse selection that we're gonna have it doesn't have the exact fights written down yet but for example if we only had I don't know the water element for example that would mean that we would want to avoid the top right middle fight and we would want to avoid the top left fight if we could so if we had metal we would not want to be going up over here and we would avoid this fight here and instead be going around or we just choose a completely different path completely. I hope you get what I'm trying to say here, but if you don't have all of the required elements, then you do need to sort of plan your path around that. But since plant is pretty much required in all of them, I'm not going to mind too much. And, you know, more, more than likely, it's cheaper to go up the top right and then probably go up this way in all likelihood if we can do all of these fights. So the path that I'm looking to take for level four is to go all the way up here, take a left, go up and do these fights, to go right and do these fights, and unlock that chest. And at the end of the day, that's not actually that many tiles that we have to progress along. Even if it seems like it's a really long distance, that's actually probably gonna be the cheapest one for me to go ahead and do. And so it does require a lot of forward planning and it can get a little bit confusing but that's why it's so important for you to read through the DML wikis sort of guides that they've already set up and then for level 5 apparently 
it's changing more into a metal only. So a couple of plant fights, or three out of four are plant, a couple of energy. But if you have metal dragons, you know, you're going to be super happy. And then for level six, apparently every single path requires the metal element. So more than likely, most of us are going to be requiring the 70,000 or so to finish off each level. Because the cost per instant win is 2,500 at level 6. And uh, if there's like 3, 4, 5, like 6 chests, that's, that's a lot of extra that we're going to have to pay. So, you know, if you got Metal Dragons, kudos to you, my friend. It's going to be a much easier journey for you, but... Most important thing, of course, is if you get super lucky like I did, like, two chests, two chests, one chest. If I can unlock the key in one chest on level four as well, I think this event would have gone pretty smoothly. <laughs> That's just putting it, like, mildly, but... Yeah, you know, I hope that sort of made a little bit of sense to you. If not, you can comment and I will try and explain it a little bit more to you. But in general, all that you really have to know is try and predict which path is going to be cheaper overall. Use the least tiles possible and try and look at which of the two options is going to be the cheapest to progress over. Because like if I can only do these really, like there's a, not a lot of tiles here, so I wouldn't want to go left at the moment. And, ah! oh! Needed a sneeze! Apparently I'm sick again, I'm very sorry. That was probably extremely loud. Please, I'm very sorry! Well, I did also want to go through where to find the special egg statue in case you did want to buy it. I thought it'd be in promotions, but no, actually the hidden egg shrine is found in the building section of the shop. And so it says, awesome offer, hidden egg shrine generates 240 eggs per day. Check it out. And so the hidden egg shrine will generate heavenly eggs for you that can be used during this event, the Great Egg Hunt. And please note, all the heavenly eggs will cease to exist once the event ends, ends. And the hidden egg shrine will become a regular decoration. I mean, it does look pretty swifty, like, that's pretty cool. But it gives 240 at max capacity and it generates 10 eggs per hour. So if you think about it that way, it's not actually giving a lot. But at the end of the day, it's £1.49. It's extremely cheap. It's almost like the starter bundle. And I guess if you think about it, this could be the difference between whether you manage to get the painted dragon or not. I don't know if I'm going to be buying it personally because like... We end up collecting 240 eggs, like, within 10 minutes normally. Obviously, the help is useful, especially on the earlier levels, but I'm still... Don't know if I'm going to be taking it out. I am tempted to buy it just because it's, like, a pretty cool decoration, though, and I doubt it's going to be available after the event. But, yeah, if you want to find it, just go over to the building section and you'll see it on the far left. I'm so... I don't know how I managed to miss it so much last time. So silly of me, honestly. And let's see if we can get our Enchantress piece for today. Really, I should have spent these portal gems. There we go. 10 out of 100 pieces for the Enchantress. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Because that means we are 10% of the way to getting the Enchantress already. So it's actually gone quicker than I thought it would. But I'm happy either way. Very, very happy. And I'm going to start off by clicking this one just so I know which way I am headed. And look, even the second tile is much, much cheaper than the left-hand side. So this is probably going to be cheaper unless these tiles here cost like two billion pounds. I doubt they will, but you know, we'll have to see. Look at this cute little sheep here. You dummy dumb. But... Yeah, that should do it for now. Like I said, make sure you check out the DML wiki page so that, you know, you can know exactly what you're doing as you're going into stuff and all that. And the next reset for the event is going to be in 16 minutes time. So obviously, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon, collect all the stuff. And now that we're on level 4...
before, we should have more things to collect. That is assuming it works the same as it always has, but... This guy is the true... <laughs> he is the true goal for this event, because the card piece dragons are the hardest ones to obtain. Much harder to get than the level 6 reward dragon, so... You know, if we manage to get the painted, or we get like one piece away from the painted, I'm gonna be happy. Because it's a long journey, a lot of cost requirement for this level, or this uh, event, I should say. So I do wish you the very best of luck. I hope you get all of your keys in your first chest, and all that jazz. And like I said, if you need any more help, do feel free to hit me up in those DMs. Or, uh... You know, just leave a comment, whatever. But anyway, guys, for now, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you then.